This is Vivian Fogger. I'm going over slowly reporting live for Swell and Dan TV. Yo, my peeps. Brani bro. Okay, who's going first, Jeff? I don't know. I'm going to go first. I want to go. Why do you want to go? Because, um, according to the law of nature, um, in the old Kosa tradition, it's extremely rude for a woman to go into a dangerous area before a man. Die water gaan naar onder. Wat lift over. Ja, hij is echt een stijfje, hoor. Dat is goed, want we zijn er uit. Allee, je in. And welcome to this year's Fuffy Slide Fashion. <laughs> Demonstrating our new blue range, we've got Malcolm. <laughs> this one for the bigger boys. Prima. <laughs> Pulls the tummy in, keeps the thighs up, and is O. Oh, so bootylicious. Yeah, also the last one with water steam for you that owner. Let it say, it was really nice. Trust me. Right, everybody must just bring up his own mother car, please. Okay. Yeah, yes. Just go anyway. What did he do? Bro, are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure? What did he do? The first thing now, the swear I want to go on the plane. Fang alle voeten uit door een boom en dan zit je voor pijn door een vergeet me nou zo'n beetje schoen. Okay, does anyone here tell the truth? Okay. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, wait, don't push me now. I haven't got too much to say right now. Except, uh, David, you can have my cat. Woo! Hey! Right, your left! It's, uh, it's the fastest I've moved in a long, long time. <laughs> Shall we? I thought maybe. We get. He's such a girl. Malcolm is the biggest girl. Uh, we've suffered half a continent with this baby. This very large baby called Malcolm. You know, it's a little bit like the first time you, uh, you know, because it's very exciting, but it's over very quickly. It is bar, bar, bar lacquer, and it's just the right amount of terror to make it like 
Let's mm. go again. Yeah, like gut wrenching fear, but it's good. You know, you need that once a day, don't you? Maybe you want to watch, do some whale watching while we do it. It's a great white. As you can see, not very agile on land, they're basically aquatic creatures because it slides beautifully across the water when attached to a rope. But <laughs> rifles a bit in captivity. For us people from Gauteng, Swellendam was a great revelation. It was as if you arrived like this, looking over your shoulder and just gently you relax into the place. It is like walking into a time warp, like a time gone by when people would sit on their stoop, greet the neighbors by name. Um, there's no fear when you're in Swellendam. It is very beautiful. People are very tourist aware without being in your face about it. It was a delightful surprise and a beautiful place. Over and out. Thank you so much. When you get here and you actually spend some time here, you, you, you realize just how precious South Africa is because it's got all these little pockets all over the place. And Swellendam is definitely one of them. Cool. The dam itself is, it actually is, it's a little gem. It's, uh, I've never been here, and it's this little pocket, and every, people are different here. And not like banjo music different. You don't walk through the streets and people are looking at you going, ding, 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 ding. Not like that, they just, they just, they're relaxed. They're very self-assured. They seem to, to really be happy with where they're at. Which is, it's unique, it's a different, uh, I think it's, it's unusual for South Africans to really just be content. And people greet each other. They walk down the street, they know each other's names. So it's got a little dorp feeling, even though they con persistently keep telling us it's the third biggest town in, so it's the third oldest store. I don't know what it is. It came third. I think going to Westland is not really a concept. This is how I like to live. I like traveling a lot. I like music. I like old cars. And I love Southern Africa. It's, just, it's extraordinary. And just drifting from place to place and occasionally having a really nice, cold, foreign beer from a great country, um, it just puts like the cherry on top. And unless you travel, I don't think you can actually love your country. You've got to see your country to understand what it's about. You can't just say, I just love South Africa. I feel you've got to see it and feel it and understand it before you can love something. A child you can love immediately, but I think a country you've got to learn to love it. Um, like, I suppose, a girlfriend, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> but yeah, and, and Swellendam for me is quite extraordinary because uh, they, they managed to save some of the architecture, quite a lot of it, which is important. A lot of towns have lost those things. And um, the people are quite charming. And the mountains, of course, are sensual. They, they, they are beautiful. They are they're fantastic. They really are extraordinary. It's important to have semi-insane people to make a town work. And if you've got just the right quota of semi-insane people, you can't lose. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep, I am resting for my next trip because apparently it's going to be quite hectic. We're going to Berrydale, having lunch. Hard affair. <laughs> Bye. Bye.